Imagine you are at work and juggling for multiple tasks throughout the day. You need a way to keep track of your to-do list dynamically and also you need to shift some tasks as per the priority. Manually managing this list or this task list on a paper or in a document can become a hectic. What if you could automate this process? Today, I will teach you how you can create, update and manage a dynamic to-do list using Power Automate Desktop Flow. This will make your workflow more efficient and organized. Hi, this is Krupali from KnowHow Academy. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn why list is required in Power Automate Desktop Flow. Second, you will learn what is list in Power Automate Desktop Flow. Third thing, you will learn how to create list in Power Automate Desktop Flow and how to display data. Now, fourth thing, you will learn how you can add an item in the list and display item of the list. Fifth thing, you will learn how you can delete an item from the list. And last but not the least, that is sixth thing, you will learn how you can perform other action on Power Automate Desktop Flow list so without delay let's get started so let me tell you the first thing why list is used in power automate desktop flow a list in power automate desktop flow help to store multiple items like name of the persons phone number of the person or different place to visit it is useful when you need to repeat action or process each time in the list individually so i hope you understand why list is required in power automate desktop flow now let me tell you the second thing what is the list in power automate desktop flow in a power automate desktop flow a list is a collection of multiple items such as number text or date which store together in a single variable it allows you to organize process and loop through item efficiently in your automated workflow so i hope you understand what is least in power automate now let me tell you the third thing how to create a list in power automate desktop flow so first of all you need to create one automate flow in your desktop then you need to go to the variable and expand it then here you will see the create new list or you can search an action create new list you just drag that list in the main window and here you will see one variable is given or you can say one variable is created with the name list you can give any name to the variable so let's say list a demo okay and then you can click on save so one variable is created with the type list and the name of the variable is list demo so this way you can create list in power automate desktop flow now let me tell you the fourth thing how you can add an item in the list of the power automate desktop flow so for that you will see that one action is there add item to the list you just need to drag that and here what item you need to add so let's say here i want to create a list which will store my task so my first task is record video and in which list i want to store so here you can click on this x sign and select the list so in that list underscore demo item will be stored now let's say you want to store one another item so you can copy that task or action and paste it and here instead of record video let's say i want to uh, add my task that is edit video and you need to select the same list so here in list demo two items will be added now what if if you want to see what are the items in the list so for that here you will uh, use the action called display message so display message will display anything on the message box like window so let's say here this is the demo uh, message box and what i want to display i want to display what is there inside a list demo variable and click on save and here 
save the flow and we will test it so here you can test it so here list is created and you can see the message box is displaying with the two items in the list first is record video and edit video so this way you can add an item in the list now let me tell you the fifth thing how you can delete an item from the list so for that you need to uh, search for remove not delete remove item from the list and just drag that action now here you can remove an item from list using two way first way is using index and second way is using a value now let me tell you how you can delete an item from the list using index. So here remove item by you need to select index. Now here you need to give the index value. So let's say I want to delete an item from the first index. So let me just write the index value. Index value always be in a numeric form. So select that and from which list you want to delete. So from the list demo I want to delete it. Click on save and test it. So here you can see that two items are there and then I am removing the item from the first index. Let me click on that. Item will be removed so you can see that list demo is there. Now if you want to display that again, you can copy that and drag that and let me just run it again. So here you can see that in first message box two actions are there or two tasks are there record video and edit video and then you can see the record video now you have a question that i entered uh, item that is record video uh, on the first index and second is on edit video but i gave index one and it is deleted the second item why the reason is that in power automate desktop flow if we are creating list the list index always start with the zero. So if you want to remove the first item, you need to give index zero and so on. Let me just click again on the remove item from the list and instead of one, let me pass the zero index. Now let me show you the demo. So here two items are there at zero eighth position or at zero eighth index record video and at the first index edit video is there. Now I'm removing item from the zero index. So you can see that whatever the item is there at the first index, it is shifted at the zero eighth index and you will see the edit video. So this way you can remove an item from the list using index. The second that by value also you can remove the item. So let's say uh, let me add some more item. Uh, so let me just copy that action and paste it. So here record video then uh, record video. Okay. I'm just writing some dummy value. That's why. And then here uh, I'm writing edit video and save. Now here let me run it first. So here four items are there in a list. First is record video then record record video edit video edit video and okay now what i will do i will i want to remove an item from the list using a value so how i can do that so let me just first uh, stop that okay and i will uh, remove an item from the list and select the index instead of index i will select value now what value you want to remove so let's say i want to remove the edit value edit video sorry and if that uh, value is occurring two time three time or uh, n number of time all occurrence if i want to remove then i need to uh, switch on this that is remove all item occurrence but i want to just remove the first occurrence so i'm not switching it on and let me click on save and let me save that and run it again so here you can see that in list four items are there record video record video edit video edit video okay now see here one occurrence is removed which is coming first so it is removed but if i switch on this it will remove whatever the action name uh, edit video so it will remove all the items from that okay so as per your choice you can do that so this way you can remove an item from the list
Now let me tell you the sixth thing. What can be the other action that you can perform on list variable? Add and delete item from the list. You can short the list data. You can clear the list. You can reverse the list. You can merge two list. So let me show you how you can clear the item from the list. So for that you just need to select that clear list and which list item you want to create. Clear. So you can select that item and uh, click on clear now see that let me sh run it and show you now you can see that some of the items are there in a list item is removing and if you clear action is executed then list contain zero item uh, so this way you can just clear everything from the list remove an item will remove specific item from the index or specific value from the list and clear list will remove all the items from the list. So that is the difference between clear items from the list action and remove item from the list. Now let's say you want to merge two list. So how it will work. So let me just uh, save that and take a new flow. Let me take a new flow and just give a name as a merge list. Okay, and click on create. So one new flow will be created and let me add variables and here let me create new list and here list list one I'm giving name as L1 and let me create one another list and this time I'm giving name as a list two. Now here in one list I'm adding an item. Let's say in this list I'm adding item. Uh, let's say uh, 10 and I'm adding in the list Two. sorry not least two but least one again I am adding item uh, let me copy that and paste it and I am adding this time 20 and in least one so two items I am adding in the least uh, one and let me just add uh, one item in the least two so let me remove that and here this time I am selecting least two and here uh, I am adding 40 and click on save so this are the two list list one and list two if i want to merge that list and create a third list you need to uh, select that merge list action and first list let's say here l1 and second list uh, that is l2 now automatically it will produce the list output list variable okay so click on save and let's say if you want to display message on the screen which display the both the item so display message you need to select that and here for demo purpose I am creating and this time I am selecting output list which is containing this two list data. So let me save that and run it. So here you can see that two lists data is merged in the third list. Okay, so 10, 20 and 40. Other than merging a list you can reverse the list. Okay, so for that you can just select that and give the list you want to reverse it. So select the list name and if you want to display it, you can display it after that. Okay, and let's say here I want to display the output list. Okay, it is already selected. Let me save and run it. So here 10, 20 and 40, then it will be reversed and it is displaying 40, 20 and 10. So this way you can reverse entire list and display it so i hope you understand how to perform other operation on list in power automate desktop flow before ending this video let me tell you what you have learned from this video first you have learned why list is required in power automate desktop flow second thing you learn what is list in power automate desktop flow third you learn how to create a list in power automate desktop flow fourth you learn how to add item and display item of the list fifth thing you learn how you can remove an item from the list and last but not the least you have learned what are the different operations or what are the different action you can do on power automate desktop list thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious keep learning